Now we will go to 70B. Up to now I taught about 70A around 8 problems I have taught around extra problems that is other than the question paper I have given you extra 8 problems. Now we will go to 70B it is from D block elements so it is from D block elements you know why it is called D block elements because outermost electrons electrons enter into the valence shell it enters the D orbital so it is called as D block element. Now what is S block elements? The valence shell enters the S orbital. So it is called as S block element. If the valence shell enters the P orbital it is called as P block element. If it enters the F orbital it is called as F block elements. So now we will be reading about extra this other than the question paper extra sums for 70 B question. It is from D block elements. So before going to the sums I just want to give you an introduction easy for you to remember that is the weak students those who cannot and uh, attend that problem at least you try to get one mark by certain tabular column what I am writing on the board now. So what I have written already I will explain to you what it is. So those who are very weak in the chemistry especially some part and when compared to sums I think better remember at least get one mark in this you score at least one mark for this main hint. So there here the tabular column is what is you know all the five elements what you are going to read extraction you know you are going to read only about copper, chromium, zinc gold and then silver that is all only these five elements. So sums will come only based on these five elements no other elements sum will come. So now first I will just go to the introduction D block how to remember certain points and at least score one mark if you do not know any, anything in the problem you can score at least one mark. So now they are given you know element, period and group. So now copper it is in fourth period group number 11. Then chromium is in fourth period group number 6. Then zinc is in fourth period group number 12. Then silver is in fifth uh, period group number 11. Then gold is in sixth period group number 11. See when, when I take the problems in certain problems they tell an element A belongs to group number 11 period number 4. So remember this tabular column correctly at least you can write what is the group number 11 period number 4 copper that is alright copper at least get that one mark. So remember this tabular column so once you get an answer weapon just in pencil in the answer weapon in the corner somewhere down you write this tabular column remember this first you are writing element next is group then sorry next is period then next is group. So first element period and then group. So you know what is the element the extraction of these elements the same order as given in the book. You know first you are going to get copper, second is chromium, next is zinc, then silver, then gold. So how to remember this period group name period remember 44456. So remember it as 44456. Then group 116, 6 to the 12 again 11, 11. So remember the group as 11, 6 to the 12 that is 11. Then 6, 6 to the 12, again 11, 11. So just write this.